Okay, welcome back. This is question number four from the specimen paper four of the 2020 syllabus. A question about transformations, a topic which has changed quite considerably. Um, a lot of things have been taken out of transformations over the last few years, um, including in this new specification, there's no transformation matrices, uh, basically because matrices has been removed itself. So it's kind of very basic now. And um, it's been replaced by other things in statistics and in, in algebra. Anyway, now uh, we're asked, we've given this diagram here, this grid with a couple of triangles drawn on them, U and T. And we are asked to first draw the reflection of triangle T in the line X equals zero. Like the line X equals zero, a lot of people are confused about uh, where, where that line is. The line X equals zero is a line where every single point on that line X is equal to zero. And that is the the y-axis. All the coordinates on the y-axis start off with 0, 0, 8, 0, 6, 0, 4. The x value is 0. If I was to tell you to draw the line x equals 2, you draw a vertical line going through 2 on the x-axis. So the same thing for x equals 0. It's a vertical line going through 0 on the x-axis, which is basically it's, it's, it's the y-axis itself. So this is a line x equals 0. You can't really see it drawn very well, but I'll just extend it here. It's actually on the axis. So that's x equals 0, the y-axis. And we've got to reflect t in the in the x axis in the in the y axis in the line x equals zero. So now to reflect something, basically every point has to be the same distance away from the mirror line, which is the line x equals zero, um, on the opposite side, okay, at right angle. So the line going to the mirror line has to join it at right angle. So if you count here, there's four spaces to the mirror line on the left. So the image of this point is going to be four spaces to the right. So that's going to be the image of that point there. And the image of this point is two spaces to the left. This is going to be two spaces to the right. It has to be perpendicular. And the same with this. And you've got your three points. And you can simply just join them together with straight lines. So let me just uh, make that a bit smaller. So I'm going to join this, these points together. And it's as simple as that. Okay, it's just reflected in the x-axis. Okay, it didn't tell us uh, to name it. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call this part one. A part one. Yeah, okay. And then part B says, draw the rotation of T about minus two minus one through 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, the easiest way to do something like this is just to grab a piece of tracing paper. First of all, minus two minus one is at this point here. And uh, what you can do is you can get some tracing paper, which I prepared earlier, and you can place the tracing paper over the triangle and trace on the tracing paper the shape of this triangle. Okay, let me get that right, yeah. Okay, let me just try and get that exactly right. One second, I have to do this. Okay, now... <clears throat> okay, I got it exactly where I want it. Now, I'm going to put the pencil on this point right here. And I'm going to, that's the center of rotation. So you're going to stick your pencil on this point there. And then we're going to rotate this shape around through 90 degrees. So it says um, 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is at this point, okay, I'm going to put a line like this to show that that's where I'm starting from. And when it's gone through 90 degrees, you'll have then, let me just group it with this so it's together with it. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to group that together. All right. And whoops, that's gone a bit. Let me just, sorry about this. Let me just make this transparent. Okay, that's better. All right, now. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the shape around through 90 degrees. So you see that line becomes horizontal. We'll have gone through 90 degrees. There we are. That's 90 degrees. Okay, so we can see that the 
image of our shape is going to be and these points here so you can see exactly where it's going to be that's 90 degrees with a minus 2 minus 1 as a center and now we can move this thing out of the way and we can draw our image okay so it was like this there we are so that's the rotation and that's now um, part two okay so using tracing paper really helps you to rotate easily okay it's very easy for you to to, to do that with, with the tracing paper and you're allowed to take tracing paper into the exam and you should try to make sure that your teachers uh, or your centers do provide tracing paper um, for you for the exam then it says describe fully the single transformation that maps t onto u now t onto u is quite simply a i'm just going to do this so you can see it's a translation Okay, it's just moved up. It hasn't, it hasn't uh, basically rotated. It hasn't um, reflected. It's just moved, stay, staying at the same orientation without any change. So, like this is this is the original T. This is the original triangle. It's just moved from there to there. Okay, now to describe the movement, we have to use vectors, and we choose a point on the object. And we choose a point on the image, and we see how do you get from that point to that point. So, for example, we can choose this end here. The, you have to choose a point in the image that corresponds to it. You can see you move one space to the right. This is minus five, and it's moved up to four, so that's nine spaces altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's one to the right, and nine up. So that's how you describe it as a vector. So it's a translation of one, nine the vector 1, 9. You can see that if we just move this, let's move 1 to the right and 9 spaces upwards and it's got exactly fits on there. So that's a translation of vector or by vector 1, 9. So describe fully, you have to mention it's a translation and you have to mention the vector 1, 9 and that's fully describing it. And that's a very simple question here. Um, question number four, I think that was it for. Yes, that was that was number four done. Okay, so we now completed question four. Thank you for watching.